Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Weekly. I'm Matt Henry. I'm Mackenzie Betcher. And I'm Joseph Richards. And hey, everybody, Mackenzie has oh, recovered from her car so accident. She's here. Out of the oh, hospital. Yeah. Out home of the wheelchair. sweet home. Yeah. It's yeah. great. It's yeah. good. It was a quick turnover. So right. I mean, you look almost exactly like you did after you got hit, but that's good that your body is all. Matt. That's uh, all. The legs are working a little bit. Right. <laughs> no more rolling chairs. Well, well uh, it's good to be back <laughs> with you guys. So uh, seriously, this is how this is going to start. No one out there gives a shit about any of this. I mean, she got seriously I mean, I, hurt. Uh, this has got to keep moving. This is moving at a snail's pace, and that snail has IBS. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that specific snail then be kind of going quicker because he's got a poop? I brought someone to babysit you guys. Someone that can keep this show moving. Someone that can give it direction. I would like you to introduce you to my sister, Elka. She does not speak a hell of a lot of English. Person, oh, oh ow, ow, God. ow. Hi. Nice to meet you. You see how she's going to keep this going. Yeah. Is this that Irish bit? Beat us. Okay. Now, you know what to do. Keep them going. This is terrifying. I okay. guess. Well, <clears throat> I, gotta say, I don't think she's a very nice person. Back in the boys' school. Ow, Hello. ow, ow. Okay, I. Okay, she, right. she hits without okay, warning. So, like we were saying, it is great that we have uh, Mackenzie out of the hospital now. Um, okay. Uh, it's, yeah, it's good. I mean, I, it's good. It's good to be uh, back. It's good that she's out of the hospital. Well, uh, ow. Okay. Ow, 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 right. ow, ow, let's, let's, ow, ow. Let's, News of the week. A McDonald's in Queens, New York is facing an unusual problem. Too many old people hanging out in the dining area all day, scaring away younger customers. Particularly confused was store manager Wayne. I just don't get it. If they eat at McDonald's this often, shouldn't they be dead by now? This one guy's been here for almost two weeks. Oh wait, he's dead. This week in Boston Bully News, a couple of bully boys broke into a man's house hoping to bully the place up. They were surprised when a strict anti-bully gun owner took care of them the only way you can take care of a Boston bully, justified murder. One little bully got shot to death and the other cried all the way home. <laughs> That's our news for the week and now we're going to do a bit of a public service announcement type thing here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to bring out this guy, we've been hearing him about a uh, lot in the news lately. Oh, yeah. Uh, he goes to kids in the city and teaches them about drugs and alcohol, how to keep off the dangerous stuff, and yep. just inform them. Definitely. Definitely. This will be really, Don't really great drugs. for our younger viewers, so yes. we're very excited So we thought we'd that. bring him out and ask him some questions about the different drugs out there on the streets right now. So let's bring him out, Kenny Dean. All right, Kenny very Dean. excited. Kenny Dean. Hey, oh. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah, very close to hey, welcome, hey, guys. Hey, it's bright. It's bright. Yeah. How's it going? Great, thanks Going for being good. here. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thank you, thank you so you much. You know, it's really important that we get this message out. And I appreciate you guys allowing me to use your form to express what I've been expressing for the past 19 years all over the country. Wow. I've been visiting mm -hmm. high schools and all the urban areas just to inform people how bad wow. drugs really are. Folks that are experimenting with drugs at a very young age and unfortunately they're losing their lives. So sad. Yeah. You know, that's why you don't do drugs, right? Yeah, that's well, you, you yeah. don't. don't do well, it's important to be educated about them. Uh, so we thought we'd touch on a few of the more common ones. First of all, marijuana. That's very popular. He's right. With He's right. Don't you do don't do drugs marijuana. if you don't know what you're doing. You don't drugs do are bad if you don't know what you're doing. Hmm. I, just, I wouldn't do any drugs at all, ever. But yeah, If you don't know what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. But don't you don't do them. That's what you you know that you should. Listen, if you walk into a party late and they've already packed the bowl, you don't know what's at the bottom. So you, you're not gonna smoke that. There could be crumbled up chunks of PCP or rock candy all inside. You don't want to do that. You want to see that bowl get packed so you know what's going on. I mean, I, yeah, no, I don't want to see any of that. I don't even want to see. Weed is good. Up in Pills are good. Pills inside your weed? What are you thinking? Neither. Good. That's important. I mean, I mean, those, those, those are two drugs you said were good. That's no, good. they're not. Now, good. another one that is good. been making the rounds cocaine. Cocaine is great. Cocaine is God. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know how many folks have made their careers off of cocaine? Right. Crack, Crack is, is whack. I don't know what you've been There's listening to, buddy. Listen, this is what you want to avoid you want to avoid the bath salts. You don't want to wake up the next morning chewing on your uncle's face when you could just be smoking a joint at your uncle's place. You'd be a lot better. That's nice. That rhymed, I think yeah. of that a lot. Now, another another big one seems to be meth. Yeah. <laughs> M&M's. 
ladies and gentlemen, is what I say. M and M's. Meth in moderation. You know, you don't. Meth in moderation. You don't want to rush all this stuff. You got to take it slow. You got to take it slow. I had M and M's. I was getting hungry, and now it's more drug stuff. You don't always do meth. Especially drunk drivers. You know. You don't want to drink and drive. You don't want to drink at all. You should oh, no, you do want to drink. It's a drug. You don't want to drink and drive, but you do want to drink at those really long, stupid fucking red lights. That's it, a better time because you're not actually operating a vehicle at that point. You, you're if you're waiting, behind the vehicle, you're, you're operating. Waiting. Oh, man. Well, if you're waiting at the line in Culver's or something, it's like ridiculous. They that, take too long. That counts as drinking and driving. You guys really don't realize that? You know that what is, counts? That is definitely you know what counts? What counts is how much crack rock you can move in a week. That's the only thing I'm going to condone about crack. You either sling crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. I'm, I'm not doing either of those things. Well, how are you getting your money? This has well, been good. It's been very this informative. This has not been good. Thanks, I feel like everyone's so, trying to remember. Weed so is know. okay. So weed is, is cocaine. Okay. Oh, shit. Little cool. dookie. Yeah, man, listen, I'll be there in 30 minutes, but don't give me none of that shit you gave me last week, brother. That, you you had me all fucked up, man. I'm just, I gotta go. Y'all take it easy, man. Stay high. Stay high. Stay high. Stay high. Yeah, I'll take it. Eye on drugs and life. No, 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 no. It's a business What call. was that? A business what, call. For once, why don't we get... Weed is okay. Cocaine is okay. Meth in moderation. None of it is okay. Don't mix pills. None of it is okay. Do not listen to that. What if we actually brought someone on the show who actually was what they said they were going to be? You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should probably do that at well, some point. Speaking of, uh, speaking of, we have our special reporter, Ruben Glazer, who did another report this week. He has priority now, so we thought we'd bring him out. Ruben Glazer, come on up. Hello, everybody, and hello. Is this a new face? I haven't seen this delightful lady before. Yeah, kinda, Except yeah, first, before scary. I get into it, I have like a bit of a... I was going to ask Matt to do this. I have a bit of a, a cut on my shirt, so I don't... You look like you're very capable with a needle. You think you could maybe get that for me? Like so, it's like sew up a patch or something. Anyway, sorry, I hate to do that in the air. Uh, either way, so ever since the uh, being under the tutelage of the new executive producer, Uncle Glenn, I've been feeling a lot more inspired to uh, to do some in-depth reporting. So actually, I'm very excited about this this week's edition of the Ruben Report. And um, well, you know, let's just get to it. Honor, integrity, decency, strength of the inner core. These are the traits an executive producer of Friday Night Weekly are supposed to possess. Some indisputably have, and some, well, not so much. My name is Ruben Glazer, special reporter of The Ruben Report, and thank you for joining me here for this very special edition of The Ruben Report, where we will take a brief look back at the rich history of the executive producers of Friday Night Weekly. After all, as John Keats once said, he ne'er is crowned with immortality, who fears to follow where airy voices lead. Friday Night Weekly had its humble beginnings in a basement that was occupied using the Finder's Keeper's Rule. The core four consisted of Ryan DeWorth, Reuben Glazer, Matthew Henry, and Joseph Kyle Ricards. In retrospect, historians stringently claim that these four are perfectly exemplified both the seven deadly sins and the four cardinal virtues. It's regretful, but Joseph used this bully pulpit to stonewall his way into the executive producer position. This was a nightmare that would last 15 whole episodes. Kyle's attitude was a little brash. Richards, a Dutchman, was born in the box-cutting district of Durcherdam which explains the accent and the take no prisoners attitude. Taking excerpts from Chucky Startman's New York Times best-selling book, Roll Call, we have learned that the Richards period was significantly worse than we previously thought. Richards is said to have had a proclivity for buying a lot of food for everybody just to throw it out in the garbage can in front of all of them. Richards was also somehow able to secure a pet dingo that he called Crush, that was specifically taught to chase Ryan the PA around and corner him and bark at him until Ryan sang a song. Did Joseph strike you? Yes, yes, uh, uh, he, he did, he did strike me. He said, Matt Henry, I am, I'm going to strike you in the face, and then he did it. But the tyranny of Richards, thankfully, would be short-lived, with the long overdue entrance of the change F&W desperately needed. His name was Glenn Popple, 
and he had the looks, professionality, and foresight to really bring Friday Night Weekly to its full potential. Pretty much, he was the damn tits. Uncle Glenn, I mean, he's... He's done it all. He's done things that this company has, has never even seen before. Plagued by scandal and recoiling from his recent ouster, Richards allowed himself a chance to try and clear the air in an interview with the Burlingame Chronicle, where he was quoted as saying, Pride makes a man do curious things. I pray to my God that you'll someday understand. Well, as a person who had been personally victimized by Richards himself, I'll be the first to tell you that I do not understand and will not understand because Reuben Glazer does not put up with bullies. Long live Glenn Popple. I mean, uh, Ruben. Yes. That was not true. Okay. Well, you know, Zef, the truth ain't gonna hide in the closet. No, no, no. Just because you and your little mustache are sitting here, you're we're not fabricating gonna... it was a people. Little, it was a little. Harsh. We had no interim executive producer. Okay. Yes, we did. It was Chucky Mario. Chucky Starman is a fucking punk. All right. Mario. No, Mario. That guy doesn't look. Yeah, yeah. You don't Mario know. Chucky Starman is a New York Times bestselling author. All right. Author. That's true. Mm -hmm. All okay. Right. He's a full of shit. The guy's a crook. Can this. We, I am the producer of this show. All right. Yeah, but, okay, but you're not the. He's not the executive. No, I'm not the you executive were the executive producer. Uncle Glenn. If you know anything. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, the guy, that was not true. Ruben did a lot look, of research. If you research. want to know more about this, you can read Chucky Startman's books without uh, this this you know individual trying to cover his tracks. Chucky Startman is a very well established author. Very well. Um, and in, in fact, he's he's a. Uh, He's part of a deal with the publishing house of Dunkhausen, 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 and Breath. And I'm actually writing the next book. They have a continuing series about behind-the-scenes looks at f and I'm actually oh, writing wow. the next book. It is going to be called My Struggle because I, of this work environment I've been subjected that to. That could be good for us, though. Shut I mean, up. I, yeah, I saw you in the video the boys, with your face black. No, that was an anonymous person. It was anonymous. Was he preferred as anonymous. How would that be it's me not it anonymous. anonymous? What the? Know hold that. We're done with this. What is this? Oh, that's it. What is this? Is this the only patch you had? It's a Nazi patch. All right. You know what? A bunch of, bunch of rude people here. I'm out. I'm out. She's a mean old woman. Betty. Hey, uh. Check out what's going on up. What's going on executive there? producer, Glenn. <laughs> Means you know about everything that goes on in this place, huh? Got my hand on the pulse. I know what's going on. Would you know who had their hand on the pulse of Headmaster Shannon as he died on your basement floor? Would you know why I'd be answering questions from a guidance counselor? And a dick. I guess still here. He's probably Can't argue with that. Drugs. He's trying to sell drugs. Headmaster Shannon was murdered right here. You know how I know? I'd like to know. I saw the shitty episode. Piece of equipment falls on Headmaster Shannon's head. So someone in this place that's responsible for safety rigged it to do so. I saw it when it happened. My dick eyes can see anything. You line up for me. Your staff members that are responsible for safety, responsible for who goes and comes in this place, and who the fuck's keeping tabs on it all. Ryan. Uh, yes, Unky? This is your guy. Uh, wait, what, what? Who? Who's Mike? Oh, you're the man. I'm gonna start with your name. Right. Right. So right. you know I'm gonna find out who murdered Headmaster Shannon. I think, I think you're the light guy. Huh? Lit off this uh, thing. Yeah, I did, I, the cough, coffee mostly, you know. I did, coffee I did, mostly? Did, so that means you're responsible for the safety. Is that right? Uh, mostly just coffee, but I, I, I dabble. Mostly just coffee? With, dabble, dabble with safety, I guess. Yeah, oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth is coming out now. I tell you what, leave I a message with your Unky Glenn. He can come pick you up at the oh, station. I'm, You're going to come down and ask some unky, questions. Unky. No, upstairs, let's go. Unky, this man's taking me away, Unky. Yeah, you're getting in my squad car. Ryan's getting arrested. And I tell you what, we're going to take your pants off as soon as you get in, too. I think he's, he's going to take Ryan. we got one down, two to go. Let's 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 go. All right, uh, that's our. She wants us to hurry up. Ow! That's ow, our show for ow. the week, everybody. <laughs> and, and thank you. For <laughs> and, uh, oh my god. Uh, no. Ow. All right. And oh, no. What we. The, uh, uh, what, so, what I was thank to, you uh, for. Uh, ow. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my. All right, that's our show for the week. And, and thank you.